All right, welcome to week two, back to session one. So um, grab your paper, grab a pen, grab the equipment that you'll need. Today we're gonna need our dumbbells, the ball if you have one, or sliders or something that can slip on the floor, um, and the pull-up bar. Um, so those are the three pieces of equipment that you'll need. Again, if you don't have those, use what you do have. We'll work through it. Um, for the pull-up, which is the one where your hands are wide, you're gonna do push-ups again. So wider push-ups um, in place of that. And then if you don't have the ball, find something that you can slip on the ground and you'll just put your feet on it and pull it in for those hamstring curls. And then whatever dumbbells you have, if you have adjustables, that's ideal. If not, use what you do have. So let's go ahead and start with our warm up. Um, let's do, let's do our inch worms. My arms are sore from our chin ups last week. So this warm up will be nice. So let's start with eight inch worms, inch it out, pull a leg up, open up to that side, switch sides, open up, and then inch worm it back up to the top. Let's move through those arms. So stretch those arms up. Ooh, feeling it right through that outside there. And let's do it again. There's two. Overhead, stretch. And let's go into three. going. Work at your own pace. Raise halfway. Three more. Two more, there's six. And last one. All right, there we are. All right, we're gonna start with our goblet squat. So that's where you're holding one weight here. You're gonna face your toes out slightly in a wider stance, and you're gonna squat it straight down and up. Look at what you used last week. So I ended mine using 21, since it's just one dumbbell. So I think for my first set, I'm gonna go down a little bit and see if I can work my way up to that 21 again or over. So find where you were. Um, so like I used 15, 18, 18, and 21. So if you need to start where you started last week, totally fine. Um, if you need to adjust down, if you're still super sore, then go ahead and adjust down. Um, so meet yourself where you are. And let's grab our dumbbells. We're going to do four sets, 10 reps again. Oh, I'm going to go down. If you're not all the way warmed up, go ahead and take this time. Hit pause, keep warming up. Um, I'm going to start with that lighter weight just so we can get this motion going. Let's do 10. So once you're ready, let's go. So neutral back, your butt's going to go back. You don't want to push your knees forward. So our butt's going back. You're going to feel it in the inner thigh, through that quad, through that butt. There we go. There's two. Let me adjust my hold here. Mm -hmm. 
five. Seven. And 10. All right, let it relax. I'm going to rest for a minute. All right, write down the weight you used. Come on. And then we'll do that three more times. So if you need to adjust your weight, go ahead. I'll go ahead and increase mine. I spent some time this weekend writing down some of my favorite mantras and quotes. So here's a good one. Today is going to be awesome. I love that when we have like positive affirmations, we say things and then our brain wants to prove them true. So today is going to be awesome. Now my brain's going to look for ways that today's awesome. So that's just one way to kind of shift your paradigm, um, focus on the good. And then on days where I don't have an awesome day, I'm going to learn how to have a good, bad day. All right, there's a minute. Let's do our weights. Let's do 10 more goblet squats. Find a comfortable stance here. Weight close to your body. Nice neutral spine. Here we go. 10 more. One. Two. Nice steady pace. Three. Four. Pull in through that core. There's five. Six. Seven. Eight. And nine. And ten. All right, write down your weight. Mom. A minute going. Um, yeah. Mom. Good job. You doing flips? Yeah. We have a mini trampoline. He likes to hang yeah. on to that bar and just flips himself over. Good job. about 20 seconds left. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, everything is figure outable. This is one of my favorite quotes. I heard it from one of my life coaches and mentors. And that was her favorite quote and it's easily become one of mine too. It just helps you to find solutions when you're having a hard time. Um, just a good reminder that we everything is figure outable. You can figure it out. So take a breath, open your mind to solutions. And let's do 10 more. All right, find your stance. There we go. Two, there should be another one. Three, four, five, six, Eight. Keep that chest up. Nine. And ten. All right. Write down what you used. Marshall, step away from there so you don't take it. I think I'm going to stay at that weight. I had about three or four more that I could have done. Let's see. I am loved and full of love. So I think sometimes our brains and our minds like to find reasons of why we're not lovable. And it's simply not true. Um, wherever you find yourself, always remind yourself that you are loved. You're not only loved, but you are lovable. And you can always be full of love so that we can give love to others. Um, but it all starts with self-love and recognizing that we are all capable and lovable. Capable of love and lovable. 
So never forget that. All right, here we go. Here's our last set of goblet squats. Toes pointed out, weight close to your body. Squat it straight down. Oh yeah, fire those quads. Two, keep your chest up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Last one. Good. Okay, put those weights down. Write down what you used. And then you'll need the ball or your sliders or paper plates or whatever you have available. We'll be down on the ground. Let's get the paper over here. We've got four rounds of these hamstring um, ball curls. So we'll lay down. Oops, that was a big thing. A couple of options. You're gonna push your butt up and you're pulling the ball towards you. Um, if you're on sliders, you're gonna put your heels on the sliders and pull them towards you the same way. Do what you can. If you are down and you're just doing this motion with your butt on the ground, you're still activating through those hamstrings. So start there if you need to. If you need to pull in, then you can go up and push your way out. That's great. Or if you can go up, pull in, and then put your butt down to push it out. So a couple different options, find where you are, something that challenges you, but something that is doable, and let's do 10 of them. Here we go, starting now. One, two, pulling through that core, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Let it relax. We're going to have a break. Just put a check mark that we did it so we don't lose track of how many sets we're on. And we got a minute to go. If you want, during this minute break, you can just actively stretch through those hamstrings. So just push your leg up like that. If you're screaming, you can just let them completely relax. But this is just kind of an active rest option. All right, couple seconds left, and then we're gonna get going again. All right, there we are. Let's do 10 more. So, bum up, and let's pull it in. There's one, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, slip in, and nine, and ten. Woo! Good. All right, mark off that we've done two out of the four. Stretch it out if you need to. You can use these minute long breaks to focus on your breathing, um, do some breath work and slowing down that breathing, breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. You can do it while you're reciting these mantras that we've talked about. So I am loved, 
I am love. Everything is figure outable. Um, today is going to be awesome. All right, here we go. Set number three. Find your position. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, relax. Mark it on your paper. All right, we got one more of those. Should be close. A couple seconds left, so let's get set up here. And let's go. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. All right. Oh, I guess we don't need the timer because we're moving on. So, mark on your paper that we did that last set. Next, we have our bench press. So, if you have a bench, awesome. We're going to be doing the bench press. If you don't, you can just do it on the floor on a mat. Um, so, don't stress it. All right, let me pull the bench out here. Grab what weight you're gonna need. I ended with 48. I'm probably gonna start with my 42s and start there. So find what you're gonna start with. Let's get set up. Sure your lower back stays down on the mat, pull in through that core. You're gonna go right to the outside of your chest and press it straight up. So there's one, nice steady pace, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. All right, let that relax. Let me set my timer. I am going to um, switch my weights. So adjust if you need to. If that was too heavy, go down. If it felt really easy, um, let's increase your weight. If it felt like, you know, that was pretty good, it was challenging, I could have done maybe three or four more, then that's a good weight to stay at. Write down what you used on your paper. Let's see, I was at 42. All right, and then we'll get going in 24 seconds. Let's see what else we got here. Ooh, I am divine. Um, I think, if I could tell anyone anything, I would just remind them who they are um, and whose they are, and that you are divine, and that you have a divine nature um, that is just a part of you. You don't have to do anything to earn it. 
All right, let's do second round. Bend through those knees to pick up those weights. Let's do 10 more here. Nice and tight through that core. Lower back stays on the mat. Here we go. Push up for one, two, nice and controlled all the way back down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Okay, that was a good challenging round for me. I got a timer going for a minute. Write down what you used. We'll let those muscles relax. We'll let them do whatever they're doing on that cellular level to recuperate so that we can do two more sets. Focus on your breathing, in through the nose, out through the nose. Almost there. All right. Let's do round three here. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. All right, relax it, write it down. Good job. Get a drink of water if you need a drink of water. I think I left my water bottle upstairs. Let's see. I wrote down enough today. Ooh, it's okay to make mistakes. From one perfectionist to, I'm sure there's plenty out there. Just a good reminder that we don't have to be perfect. It is okay to make mistakes. We are here to learn and grow and that growth happens in the discomfort zone and part of that is because we are learning and making mistakes so be kind to yourself remind yourself that to have a growth mindset you have to make space for learning and mistakes all right let's do our last set here here we go 10 more down Outside of the chest, push it straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine and ten. Ooh, good. All right, put those weights back. We're done with that exercise. Oh. All right, write down what you used. Next, we're doing our pull ups. So I'll come move the camera. Pull-up bar. If you don't, you're going to be doing push-ups. So let's get 
it moved and set up here. All right, let's do pull-ups today. So that is where your hands are facing out at a wider grip. Um, I'm My arms are still pretty sore from the chin-ups, so I'm just gonna hang. I might practice engaging through that back. Do you remember? So you're gonna kind of like pull up through that back. Um, it's one of the first steps to a pull-up, but I'm just gonna focus on hanging and I'm gonna count to 10 as slow as I can. So do what you can if you're if you're able to do pull-ups, let's do 10. Let's, Knock them out and let's go ahead and get started. Here we go. Seven. So I just kind of write on my paper, um, I just wrote hang, since I'm just hanging for now. And then as I progress to actually pulling up, then I'll be more specific, just so I can kind of keep track of that progression that I'm making. Um, so you can make whatever notes you need to on there. I made a note on my last week's on the chin-ups, I just kind of put a star next to it because those made me really sore. Um, so it just lets me know that it's targeting muscles that um, I don't usually target, which is good, um, good to note. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, all done. Yeah. Mer? Yep, you watch it, I do. Mm -hmm. All right, got about 10 seconds, and then we're going to do it again. So challenge yourself. All right, let's do it. Ten as slow as I could. Mark it on your paper. I think this next time I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to bring my legs up here so I'm really practicing through that core as well. Come on. All right, let's see what our paper says. <clears throat> my struggles are valid. Um, that is something I learned in counseling was we like to compare our struggles. Like we say what we're struggling with and then we say, yeah, but so-and-so is going through this and this, and that's just way worse. And we kind of need to take out that comparison because our struggles are valid and so are theirs. Um, so if we can live with that mindset, we have more compassion, not only for other people and the struggles that they're going through, but we have self-compassion and that we can meet ourselves where we are. So remember that. All right, let's do our third, our third set. Here we go. Pull your knees up if you can. I am feeling that right through this like core area right here. Um, I'm a little sore there along with the back of my arms. So bringing those knees up, engaging through that core. Woo! On fire. All right, we got one more set of those. I 
And after that, we have two more exercises and then we're done for the day. Now oh, he artworked my whole paper. I'll have to figure that out come week five. <laughs> okay, there we are. We're at a minute. Let's do one more. Do what you can. Challenge yourself. Here we go. All right, there we are. Shake it out, mark it off. And let's move into our shoulder press. So let me get you guys set back up over here. Sorry, it's bumpy. All right, that looks about right. There we go. All right. Shoulder presses are next. Find what you did last week. Meet yourself where you are today. Let's maybe start with nines in each hand. All right, let's do our first set. Watch anything overhead so you don't whack any lights. That would be highly unfortunate. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, and awesome, relax, write down what you used. Adjust your weights if you need to. Just move through our lower body since our last two have been upper bodies. Just get active rest in. All right, here we go. Pick up those weights, bend through those knees. Let's do 10 more, here we go. Pull in nice, long and strong through that core. You don't wanna arch through that back. I'll do it sideways so you can see the side. One, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Let it relax. Write down what you used. We think we'll remember after the workout, but there's been many times where I'm like, I can't remember what I did on what. So writing it down as you go is helpful. All right. Let's see. Oh, okay, this is a good one. Feelings are one word. So when someone's like, how are you feeling? We often go into a ramble about our thoughts, which is natural and normal. And our thoughts lead to our feelings, um, but our feelings are the one word. Um, so I feel happy. I feel sad. I feel confused. I feel overwhelmed. I feel 
angry. I feel excited. I feel epiphany. Like there's just, I mean, there's literally hundreds and hundreds of different emotions that you can feel. Um, but they're the one word. Okay, let's do our third set here. Watch out for the lights as always. Here we go. One, two, three, pulling through that core, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. All right, one minute break. Write down what you used. I think I'm going to stick with the same. I was getting kind of shaky there at the end. But yeah, back to the fillings. So um, your fillings are the one word emotions. And a, a cool tip for life is if you can just use the word I feel blank, um, then we don't become those emotions. So like we often say, I am angry. And it's like, we're not really anger. We just are feeling angry, which is completely a normal human thing to do. Um, so just switching those simple, the way the words that we use have power in our lives. So from switching it to I am angry to I feel angry, then it becomes simply an emotion that's working its sensations in our body and we don't become that anger um, or whatever emotion it is that you're filling it with. And then, oh, there we go. Wow, a minute goes by fast when you're talking about emotions. All right, last set here. 10 more. Nice, long, and strong through that core. Don't arch or sway that back. Two, three, four, five, six, Ooh. seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. All right, that is it for that one. Write down what you used. Our last group is gonna be plank rotations. We're gonna do them for a full minute each. That is gonna burn that core. So just do your best. If you need to take breaks throughout, that's totally okay. Just little breaks, jump back in as soon as you can, really push yourself. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. So we're going to be in the plank, down on our elbows. Keep that butt low, nice neutral back. So you're here. We're going to dip to the sides here. So we're just going to rotate, keeping those hips to the side. If that causes you any discomfort, we just want you to hold it in this plank. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to set my timer. We got one minute. All right, let's get into position. And, oh, let me, okay, here we go. Nice and tight through that core. My toes keep slipping. Breathing, you can do it. Almost there. 10 seconds. And relax. Oh. You guys, that is, that is challenging. All right, mark it off. One minute down, three minutes to go. I think we'll do a side plank on this next one. Whew. 
All right, let's do it. Pick a side, either on your knees or on your feet. Let's do a minute side plank. Here we go. I was thinking about anger and um, like that's one of our emotions that we sometimes feel. But anger is an interesting one because, well, first of all, we probably need to normalize it. That if you are a human, you have felt anger and it's totally normal. And then um, it's also important to know that generally there's an underlying emotion underneath the anger. So anger is generally not like the first go-to emotion. We feel it, but it's because there's an underlying like overwhelm or anxiety, um, stress, um, rejection, fear, I feel afraid. So it's good to dive into those emotions. All right, relax and to figure out what's going on for us. Because if we can solve for the underlying emotion, that generally helps um, with the anger if we're feeling angry. Woo. All right, other side. One minute on that side. Here we go. On your knees, up on your toes. If you need to stagger your feet, you can. Do what you can. And our feelings always come from our thoughts. We often think it comes from what's happening around us, our circumstances, but it comes from what we're thinking, which is awesome and sometimes hard to hear, but it gives us the power to create what we want in our lives. Ooh, keep going, hold it. Almost there, I hope. <laughs> All right, and relax. Good, I don't think we marked that last one on our paper. Nope, we didn't. If you did, awesome. If not, go ahead and mark number two and three. We're on our last one. We're gonna go back to a plank. Either hold the plank or do the rotations. We got one minute left. Here we go. And go. Keep breathing. Go to your happy place. Woo. Ten seconds left. And relax. Oh, wow. Good job, you guys. All right, that is today's workout. Let's spend a few minutes just stretching. Woo, let's stand back up. Woo, that was good. All right, I'm just gonna stretch here. Stretch wherever it feels good. Hmm. Stretch across, feel that nice stretch through that arm. Stretch through our inner thigh at the same time. Switch arms. Forehead, 
the stretch for the triceps while we're here. Switch arms. Good. One good way to track your activity um, is to count how many steps you're getting in the day. So a lot of your smartwatches count steps. I have a Fitbit um, and I aim for 6,000, but my goal is 10,000. So Kind of have a floor and a ceiling. Um, my floor is the 6,000. 10,000 is my daily goal that I try to get to, um, if not more than that. And so when I first got it though, um, I started with where I was, like how many steps I was getting in the day. I just started there and just went like 500 steps more till I could get that pretty easy. And then I just upped it slowly until I got to my 10,000 goal. So it just worked incrementally, but that's a really good way to just track daily activity. Um, we burn calories doing laundry, cooking dinner, walking through the house, up and down the stairs, um, chasing our kiddos, jumping on the trampoline, mowing the lawn, cleaning the bathrooms, like whatever you're doing throughout the day at work. Um, like if you're walking back and forth at work, or if you don't walk back and forth at work, that's actually a really good way to start walking back and forth is to take breaks and just get steps in, um, get your body moving throughout the day instead of taking like long breaks where we're sitting at a computer, sitting on our phones, watching TV, doing whatever we do, um, reading a book, whatever. So um, that's a good tip as far as getting more activity in your day. And that's an easy way to do it. Um, so we did strength training today. We'll see you back here on Wednesday. Um, or if you're doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday is the pattern I'm following. Um, so I'm going to get my steps in today. Tomorrow I'm going to do a cardio. So I'll either go for a jog, a walk, um, or do the elliptical here at home. So find what works for you as far as getting cardio in. You want to get that heart rate up. I'm going to aim for at least 30 to 45 minutes of um, moderate to intent, um, high intense cardio. Um, but just start where you are. If you don't get any cardio, 30 minutes of walking will get you there. So Start where you are. Don't underestimate the power of small changes um, and implementing small steps to move toward where you want to go as far as your fitness goals are related. Okay, so that is our workout. Thank you so much for joining me. We will see you on Wednesday. Keep it up. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. Bye.